What's up, everyone? Um, I just recently purchased this uh, handle, the shifter handle for a uh, Dutch. This is actually my second purchase. I actually have it on my 300. I purchased another one, so I just want to do a quick short video on how to install it. I haven't put it on yet, so this is going to be a uh, installing process for me, too. Uh, that's the box it came out of. I'm not going to show you my address, of course, but, you know, you get the point. Uh, you're going to need a flathead. This is what I used the flathead the last time. Stick it somewhere underneath there. If this thing can focus a little bit. Let's get this camera to focus. There we go. Let's see if we can do a little better than that. I guess that's better. Anyway, you run your screwdriver in there, and you're supposed to kind of twist it a little bit. Okay, there you go, see? So kind of twist it a little bit, yankee yankee, and then it goes up, opens up. Now this part, in most, my own was pretty hard, and this one looks like it's going to be hard too. Uh, what you're going to need to do is, you're going to need two hands, because you kind of have a clip on it too, right there. So I'm going to need two hands to do that, I'll be back in a second. Pause it for a second, um, what, you're going to need two hands, you're going to have to grab it with both hands, and lift up. I kind of put it back in there, but it's uh, it got stuck again. Um, oh, oh, there you go. Came off. Yeah, but use two hands, and uh, what you do is that you kind of just lift it up. Don't don't twist it or anything like that. You don't want to break those uh, snaps on the inside of it. It's like little snaps or something like that. You don't want to break it, just in case you want to put this thing back in the near, fu near future. If, say, you're going to go trading your vehicle at a dealership or whatever. Most dealerships... I shouldn't even say most. Dealerships give you crap when you do an aftermarket upgrade on any vehicle. They always give you less than what the car is worth. You actually be better selling it outside by yourself and have somebody buy it who might be interested in the vehicle. You'll probably get a better offer than you would if you take it to a dealership. Um, you're not going to need that anymore. So that thing is just basically just sitting in there. Just take it out. Don't lose it. What you would do is uh, just put them back in there when you're done, okay? Just snap it back in there or whatever it is. I got to figure out which way it goes back in there. And then move that in there. Alright, so the shifter right here, as you can see, this cost me $21. It's on eBay. If you're looking to purchase it, go to eBay and uh, just search uh, Dutch, Dutch uh, Charger Shifter handle shifter or something like that, that's what I did, and it kind of showed up, but I had purchased this thing before, and I, um, for my 300, so I just went to the same buy I purchased it from, and uh, I went ahead and just purchased the second one, they have different colors, they have uh, silver, red, I think there's a blue one if I'm not mistaken, but I might be wrong, but I've seen a silver and I've seen a red one, and this is the black one, but I, well there's a gold one too, yeah I've seen a gold one, but the Gold one, even there's a guy near me who's selling it, and he wants $100 for it. He's out of his mind. Let's see who's going to pay for that. Um, the package comes with this guy right there. It should come with this guy. If you don't have it, uh, you ought to contact the seller and let him know. You need that set screw. There's a set screw right there, and there's a key, Allen key right here, which you're going to use to install it on this little side right here. Put the set screw in there before you put that in there. And then kind of twist it down a bit so it just holds. Don't go all the way down because it has to lock onto this little space right here all around but on the opposite side so that it doesn't come off. If this is inconvenient, you can always start up your car and kind of move it to neutral. But make sure you have your, your foot on the brakes. Don't let it go. If not, your car might move. So don't do that. All right. Uh, we're going to put this thing in there. We'll be back in a second. Um, yeah, so we're back, and, uh, as you can see, I kind of put the set screw in there with the Allen key, uh, focus, camera, focus. This camera's not focused, made my hand shaking, that's why. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm gonna let you know right now, this, the, the hole on this guy, the set screw is a little bit bigger, so if you're trying to just put it in by hand, you might have a little bit of a hard time on that. Use the Allen key, put the set screw on the Allen key, then put it in there, then actually start twisting it. It's a little a little ha hard so not too hard it is supposed to be hard you don't want it to be too easy but uh, I can still twist it with my hand as you can see I'm still able to twist it you kind of need two hands so you can hold the shift at the same time 
but yeah, I'm just letting you know what's going on with that because that that that's just happening right now, and uh, I guess what it's going in there is kind of cutting it at the same time. Anyway, let's put that in there. It's supposed to just go in. Uh, make sure it is your handle is straight to where you want it to be. Yep, I think that's about it. Oh, actually, you see, it's even. It's pretty hard in there anyway. It doesn't even want to move. So go behind it. You know, you have to just kind of go behind it, and then uh, you can use the opposite side, which will kind of make it easier. So kind of twist the L and key. The other way around, get it in there, and then twist and turn. You got to do it over and over and over until you, you're secure that it's locked. I mean, you can get it all the way in so that you don't have to actually have to see it, but where the set screw is, you're pretty much not going to ever see it if you don't even put it all the way in. So, anyway, we're just going to go ahead and get it in there. Um, it doesn't come off easily as I just put it in there. It was pretty hard. So do you really need to set screw? I really don't think so, but just go ahead and put it in there Because when you're shifting you pull down. I mean no nobody nobody holds their shifter and pulls it up It doesn't make any sense I think on some manual cars in order to go into reverse you have to kind of pull it up. I Know I've, I've done that before. I'm not sure if it was a mercedes-benz or something, but it was an old model car in order to go to reverse anyway. You have to lift, you have to pull the shifter up in order to get it into the reverse gear. All right, so now it's even getting tighter. All right, there we go. So it's not going anymore. We're not, don't force it. If you feel that it's snug, it's in there, don't force it because you don't want to strip it. You don't want to put it to a point that, you know, you're gonna have a hard time trying to get it, get it off. But um, uh, let's see if I can angle this thing properly. You can see it's kind of in there and it's kind of smoothed out. So this is not going anywhere. Pull that up. Yep. Yeah. You see, I'm trying to pull it up. It's not going anywhere. So that's pretty much locked. And it's not going down. It's not moving. It's not twisting on me or anything like that. And uh, don't lose your key. I would put it in the box that you got it out of. You can put your shifter in it too. And just keep it like I do over there. Uh, if you guys see my channel, you see that I have a lot of vehicles, old vehicles, and yes, they are all my vehicles. I just have the intentions of always uh, buying a vehicle, upgrading it, and uh, reselling it. Sometimes I sell it, sometimes I just don't, which is why I have a Chrysler 300, and I have a Challenger, and I got my Dutch. Alright, so, let's do this thing like that. No key, of course. Where's my key at? I think I have the keys upstairs in the house. No key detected. Did I leave it upstairs? I think I left it. Let's make sure. Yeah, I probably left my keys inside. So it's telling me no key detected, as you can see. Well, all right, guys, I just wanted to show you, you know, that you can still hold it and shift it, how it goes and all that stuff. But uh, you pretty much get the idea once you get it going. You should be able to just, uh, it feels great, actually. It feels a lot better holding like that. But, um, yeah, I like this a lot better. Always had, even on the 300, I love holding the shifter like this than anything else. But, um, yeah. Um, alright, that's the end of the video, guys. Uh, it's pretty easy install. It takes literally a couple of minutes because I'm doing this video, which is why it took me a little longer, but it literally takes a couple of minutes. And, uh, if you want to purchase one of these guys right here, go on eBay, go on Amazon, but I would go on eBay. And, uh, what you could do is if you have a bank account with eBay, I mean, if you, um, use your bank account when paying, what happens is you can do a payment after delivery option, which is pretty great. Once you get the item, you can look at it, view it, make sure you like it. If you don't like it, you know, if it's damaged or anything like that, you can do a return before eBay ever takes the money out of your account. But again, I purchased this, I think it was uh, $21 and after uh, 20, $21 and, and some change anyway. But it's on eBay. I purchased this, this is my second purchase from the same guy. 
I think he still has some more, uh, but he has a black one. There are different sellers that have uh, different colored ones, like uh, a red one, a uh, silver one. I probably should have gone with silver to kind of match it, but again, I like the black one, so I just went ahead and got a second black one. All right, you guys have a good one. Take care.